Radios have hit a new stage of evolution. With sites like Spotify, Pandora, and Last.fm, AM and FM radios are a thing of the past, and streaming MP3s and Wi-Fi radios have taken over. But streaming Wi-Fi music to your radio can get crazy expensive. So here's a cheap way to do it for under 50 bucks, and you can even control it using your smartphone. Pretty cool, right? This project is inspired by the people over at MightyOM.com, so be sure to check out their website if you want a more detailed look on how to make a wireless radio player. First, you're going to need an ASUS WL520GU wireless router, and the reason you want to use this specific router is number one, because it's very hard to brick, and number two, because it has a built-in USB port so that we can plug in a USB sound card, so you'll need one of those as well. And you can find links to buy both of these in the description from Amazon.com. You can do this project on any operating system, but I'm going to be using Windows. If you're using a different operating system, you can follow the instructions over at MightyOM.com. To get started, there's four things you need to download first. And you can find the links to all of them in the description thingy down there. The first one found here is the router firmware that we'll be using, and it's what's going to allow us to play music. Next is the ASUS firmware restoration utility, which will install the new firmware for us. Then PuTTY, which is what's going to allow us to SSH into the router. And last is ARIO, which will let us add and control the music. And then after you've got everything, go ahead and go to your network connections, right click on the local area connection and select properties. Then select Internet Protocol and hit Properties again. Choose Use the following IP address and enter in these values leaving the default gateway blank. Then click OK. If the computer has any other network connections, be sure to disable them before continuing. Now plug in an Ethernet cable into the back of your computer and into LAN 1 of your ASUS router. Then put the router into restore mode by unplugging it, pressing down the black restore button, and plugging it back in while still holding the button down. If done correctly, the power light should be blinking. Next, go to Start, Programs, ASUS Utility, WL520GU, Firmware Restoration, and browse to the OpenWRT Firmware and click Upload. Give it a few minutes to install, and if it doesn't connect, you may need to disable your Windows Firewall and try again. When it's through, go back to your network properties and set it back to Obtain IP Automatically, and then click OK. Then you want to unplug your router and plug it back in so that it resets the IP address. Now you can open up PuTTY and type in 192.168.1.1, select Telnet and click Open. If you want, you can create a secure connection by typing in PassWD and then creating a password. Then close out of the window, double click on PuTTY again and enter in 192.168.1.1. Make sure SSH is selected this time and click Open. Click Yes and log in as root with the password that you selected. The first thing that we need to do is enable the wireless, so type in this line to bring up the settings. Every time we use the VI editor like this, you have to hit I on your keyboard to go into edit mode. So hit I and comment out this line with a pound sign and then change the mode to STA and the SSID to match your current network name. If you have a wireless key, you can enter in the encryption type and then create a new line for your key. Now hit escape to exit the VI editor, colon W to write the file, and colon Q to quit. Next, enter in this line to edit the network settings and skip down to the LAN configuration section. Hit I for edit mode and then enter in a unique IP address that matches your network. Skip below the net mask and enter in the gateway IP address of your router, and then make a new line and create a DNS server with this IP address. Then hit escape, colon W, and colon Q. Restart your router by typing in this line and give it a couple of minutes to reset. 
If everything works, you should see the air light light up on the front of your router. So now you can disconnect the ethernet cable and re-enable the wireless connection on your computer. Close out of your current PuTTY window and re-log in using the new IP address that we created earlier. Now you can enter in this line and then we can add a package URL. So you want to remove this line and change it to this one so that we can download the USB sound card drivers. Then save it and quit. After that, update the package manager and then download and install the USB drivers. When it's through, plug in the USB sound card and reboot the router. Using PuTTY, SSH back into the router so that we can install Music Player Daemon and Music Player Client, which will play and stream our music. Then create these three directories, and then we'll need to edit the MPD configuration file. Find the audio output section and then uncomment the section underneath where it says example of OSS output. Also go ahead and change the device to point to this location. Then write it and quit. You can start the music player daemon by typing MPD. If it gives you this error, you can ignore it. Then go ahead and start the client and if it says volume 100 repeat off random off, then you successfully configured everything. Lastly, enter in this command so that the player automatically starts up whenever the router boots up. Alright, that's it for the command line crap, because now we can do everything else from ARIO. So go ahead and install and run it, and if it gives you this error during installation, then you'll need to install GTK+, Plus, which you can find here. When it boots up, create a new profile with the router's IP address as the host, and then click connect. Now you can click on the web radios tab and add different radio stations to your playlist. Then hit the play button and plug in a set of headphones or speakers into your router. If you right click on the stations, you can add your own custom stations, last FM stations, or links to your own MP3s. If you're happy with the simple Wi-Fi music player, then you can leave it like this. But what I did was I wired it into this old AM FM tape player jukebox that I had. And I did that by unhooking the tape player and putting the Wi-Fi radio in its place. So I unsoldered the wires that led to the tape player head, and then I cut a set of headphones in half and took the input side, stripped the wires, and soldered them to the wires that came from the tape player head. Then I plugged the new input into the router speaker card and reassembled everything. Now this jukebox can play AM, FM, and Wi-Fi. And not only can I control it from my computer using ARIO, but if you go to this website, you'll find MPD clients for almost any device, including most smartphones. All right, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.